Navy SEAL right there. Yeah, boy. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> He's a beast. We learned in the whole point of what we do in the Melilla Method is that there is this progression that is kind of this developmental time frame. And basically, he's going back to development, just like what you were talking about. I mean, he's going through that now. And so we need to take him that way. And so if you try to get, you know, a kid that's five to do things that normally a 10-year-old would do, it, lost. yeah, you're just going to frustrate them. So, you know, things like eye complex eye movements and doing things with stability of the eyes and you know, timing and rhythm, those are later stage things. But now, you know, I mean, he's getting to that point where this will be like the next stage that he can get into. I know that we need to tap into his brain and all the therapy, like he was like so agitated, like nobody could get near him and touch him. I'm like, there has to be passive stuff that we can do. And you're like, oh, I got it. The very first thing was like, all right, like, what are the goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? And so I had asked Laura to send me a huge list. Um, so her main thing was to help with a consistent form of communication to reduce pain, reduce mood swings, tolerate sitting longer periods of time, uh, participation engagement, really anything to help him give a better quality of life. And she put that he can yell really loud and use the middle finger as well. And so my first visit here, um, you know, he, he would just kind of easily get irritated and start yelling. And when he would get mad, he would, you know, you know, use the middle finger. Um, so she says what John cannot do is tolerate sitting for long periods of time, a uh, use of his left arm, communicate efficiently, stand or walk on his own, sit on the side of a bed. He leans and tips backwards, uh, participate consistently. Um, and then she put here that pretty much every other ADL he cannot do. John is 100% dependent and he needs supervision 24 seven. And then she put that he recently has been pointing to his forehead and on the right side of the brain. So whenever I seen this before I came in here, um, a lot of this stuff, you know, kind of similar that, you know, it could have been a right brain deficit. And after doing the evaluation, we found that. Um, and so what I did is, is I told, you know, told Laura, I said, yeah, we can definitely help achieve these goals. Um, and again, after, you know, doing an evaluation, understanding that, hey, the right side of the brain was the major deficit. And based off of that, we were seeing mood swings and posture alterations. So that was, you know, what I taught Laura how to do was um, just how to start stimulating the right side of the brain through using certain sensory inputs. So we taught her how to use color lenses how to use sound, how to use vibration. Um, and then also, you know, they got NeuroSage and started using a software program that I co-developed based off of the Milo Method. We were using certain colors of, um, of, of vision. We were using certain frequencies and uh, it's a form of entertainment. So you're playing a video game. And then we taught her how to apply different sensory stimulations. So for example, using certain essential oils, uh, vibration, a tinge unit, and uh, I mean, Laura, so just like, what would you, from the time that, I guess, how would you describe from when we first started to where you guys are at after looking at these goals? We've met all those goals. <laughs> You've done it all. Being a very left brain person, you're very goal oriented and saying, hey, look, I'm not accepting this stuff. And you're extremely persistent. And what happened is, is you brought your husband back. And it's amazing too, is because, you know, Dr. Lillo's on a whole nother level and Brandon and I now are getting on a level, but it's like we consider ourselves now that, you know, people can't get the same results in the world that we can get. Um, but then how we all got attracted to this stuff. I mean, you don't get any better than this guy. <laughs> and the fact that we're all here, but it just shows you that you're persistent, literally, you know, brought healing to your husband. And for us, we're super grateful the fact that we get a chance to help a Navy sell out the guy who... I mean, it's, it's an honor, but to be able to, to look at you now from where you were, I mean, it's, it's, it's an, it's incredible, but you've done an amazing job. I mean, I, but it was, I was so hungry for something to work for him when I met you guys, you know, like I was hungry cause I knew that if I gave him, I kept saying, if I give him the right tools, I know he'll heal because he has that mentality.